organised by the constituents he represented. Together, they remembered. A week on since Sir David Amos's death, he remains at the forefront of the minds of so many. I'm here today out of respect for him. And horror, this has happened. And dreadfully sorry for his wife and his lovely family. Every time I wake up, it hits you that it's, um, this man, has, what he's done for South End and Lee has had this done to him. What's this week been like for this town? It's been, particularly for the local area, it's, it's been very hard. Um, you see a lot of people walking around in, still in shock of what's gone on. This row of businesses stand metres from the church where Sir David died. They won't be forgetting the man who always used to stop and say hello. He would always be there to, to help us, yeah. Christmas won't be the same here because every Christmas, literally a week before Christmas, he turns up here. He judges all the Christmas windows for the shops and awards like first, second, third prize to the windows in the parade. And he personally does it himself. The messages and flowers from across South End and beyond fill his office. Many are now questioning how safe they are in here. Since Sir David Amos's death, the security of MPs and their staff has been in the spotlight, just how exposed they are outside the Palace of Westminster. Now MPs are being urged to take up the offer of security guards at their constituency surgeries. But they'll have to find a balance between staying approachable and being safe. The man charged with the MP's murder appeared at the Old Bailey via video link. He is next due in court on the 7th of March. In Southend, the silence signifies the respect they shared for their Member of Parliament, fondly remembered as simply being one of them. Ashna Harinag, Sky News, in Leonsi.